Bang, bang. I shot you down. Bang, bang. Let me get one of those. Bang, bang. So I ended up getting this. I don't know how it's going to work. I guess you just hang it from your mirror. I'm pretty sure that's going to work a lot better. Probably be a better camera angle too. Um, I don't know about being better to see me, but better to see the road. As I'm driving, I'm going to start doing my driving live videos for those who have been watching my channel for a while. Um, it's a rear view camera mount. Fits phones up to 3.25 inches wide. I don't know how big my phone is. I never really paid attention to that, but it is a big phone. It's a Galaxy Ultra S20. Um, yeah, man. Rotation, blah, blah, blah. 360. Uh, what does it say over here? Yada, yada. Fits all devices, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Just hang it from your mirror. That's all you do. I'm not about to read all that, but let's go see what it does. Bam, bam. Check your phone size. All right, y'all. Now, I want to, before we get into this video, I want to tell you that having things in a big phone hanging up in your windshield um, is going to mess with your vision a little bit because it's going to be in the way. It's going to create a little of a blind spot. I just want to say that. Be safe. It does create a little bit of safety by being hands-free. Um, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. Basically, what I'm trying to say is <laughs> do what I say and not what I do. No, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, man, I'm just showing you what I'm doing. I'm not telling nobody else what to do. So, you know, whatever you do, take heed and, like, pay attention to your surroundings. And, you know what I'm saying? I can't tell you what to do or what not to do. But I'm just going to point that out right there. You know what I'm saying? Also, this is a Mercury brand. I guess you could flip it that way and do, like, you know what I'm saying, that mode. Yeah, man. All right, y'all. I didn't tell y'all the price. This is only about five dollars from Walmart. Um, let me go ahead and show y'all what it looks like. Um, if my camera comes out of focus a little bit here and there, I think I need to wipe my screen off. And I just noticed that in my other scene, the beginning scenes or whatever. But um, also, like I was saying, be safe. Um, make sure you look at the road and not the camera um always you know what i'm saying don't drive with the camera i had to like really get used to that when i first started like doing my driving lives or doing my driving videos blah blah, blah. i got so many ideas for videos driving so i'm trying to test out this equipment um i also have a dashboard mount you can kind of see it right there that's a magnetized dashboard mount but my phone is so heavy that it really like falls off and things like that excuse my windshield i have to clean my car and all that so um i'm gonna just take y'all on the road with me right now we're in easily south carolina we're going towards clemson we're just coming from greenville not too long ago we had a little you know i had a few things to do um was out and about i'm saying we because i'm taking y'all with me so you know what i'm saying but uh yeah man watch the road all right Pay attention to the road. You don't know how other people drive. It could be your fault, they fault, whatever. But, of course, they're going to say it's your fault if you record and got a phone out. Unless you catch it on camera, you know what I'm saying? One day, I plan on having, like, cameras all around my car, 360. You know what I'm saying? Because people drive stupid, man. They ride your butt, this and that and the third. Y'all know. Anybody who drives can relate, unless you're the person that be doing that. You know what I'm saying? It could be three, four lanes and people ride your bus. Somebody did that to me earlier, too. You know, I was riding, I think it was like um, 40 miles an hour um, speed limit. I was going about close to 50. And they wanted to go faster than that, but it was like three lanes. Like, dog, why are you not going around? When he finally went around, he got mad. Was he beeping his horn and stuff? Like, dog. Makes no sense. I mean, I don't know what that's what road rage is. That's what call road causes road rage. And like, you know, you act like that. I'm not gonna do anything, but other people probably would. That's why stuff be happening, man. Like it ain't always the whoever fought could be either, in either party's fault. But I try to stay calm, cool, collective, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to control my speed, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go faster because you behind me want me going to go faster. 
But that's besides the point. It was a nice sunny day today, not too hot, you know, fairly cloudy, but bright and um, bright and sunny man, at the same time. Well, not bright and sunny, but it was cool. Kind of see my vents on my, um, y'all can see the reflection. So I'm just looking and seeing if I see anything that I like or don't like. If I like this angle better than the dash mount angle. Um, the only thing that's different mostly is the camera is more, the phone is closer to my face. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to create a little blind spot. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing too crazy. But also, I don't like blind spots at all. Of course, it ain't going to be invisible. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm, I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm not telling you what to do. You know, it'd probably be safer to not even do a camera in your phone at all. You know what I'm saying? But also, it's also safety because you can record things happening. You know what I'm saying? I'm just doing this for my videos. You know what I'm saying? Rapid Time Fitness. I'll be talking. Like, whenever I have a long drive like this, um, in the past, I've had, I, the videos are still up. I have videos where I drive. I drive and go live stream and chat with people. Um, of course, I wouldn't read the comments until I get to a safe stop or whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? I see a lot of people doing that. They be doing live streams while they're driving. And they be looking directly in the camera and reading and driving like there's no difference. And I don't know, man. But, um, hey, driving live. I want to stay alive while I drive. You know what I'm saying? Double meaning right there. But, uh. What was I saying? Oh, those videos are still up, but a lot of those videos are my... I do fitness. This is a rep and time fitness. I, I, a lot of my videos with the most fitness information is when I do a long walk and talk or drive and live. If you look up rep and time fitness walk and talk or rep and time fitness drive and live, yo, you'll probably have the best fitness advice that you can hear all day. Why? Not because I'm the greatest fitness influencer in the world. It's just because if I'm going for a long time, I'm going to end up saying some things that you need to hear. And why am I talking about fitness? I'm pulling up at McDonald's right now. Because my old lady told me to pick up some stuff. They ain't on no diet. And even if even if it was for me, I wouldn't even trip because I got videos of me eating all kind of mukbangs and all that. And still, I'm almost 40 years old and I got a six-pack. Cause I also teach moderation. I don't teach you gotta you gotta be perfect on your diet. I don't teach that. I teach moderation. You can have certain things. You can have this then and this then. You just gotta, you know, be mindful of how much you're having or how often you're having it. You gotta be mindful. You know what I'm saying? People that want to diet perfectly, they're um. And I'm ordering. What am I ordering? Um. 10-piece nuggets and fries, you know, Sprite, you know what I'm saying, um, sweet and sour sauce, I like barbecue personally, uh, their barbecue ain't the best, I like Wendy's barbecue sauce or Bojangles barbecue sauce, you know what I'm saying, there's a few others that I can't name off the top of my head, but yeah man, I'm getting the food right now, then we gonna ride back out. I'm gonna try to show y'all different angles, this does has like 360 motion, and I'm going to, like, twist it, turn it. You know, of course, you tighten it up to lock it in. You know what I'm saying? I also usually use my driving lives and walking talks to tell you upcoming things that I got for my videos. Like, my last video right before this video was a video of me. Um, I had a leg day, but I was using my dry erase board for the first time. I'm going to get into, like, breaking things down a little more. Um, a lot of times, uh, I'm still pretty new, fairly new to this YouTube influencer uh, fitness channel type thing. Um, I've been working out for years, but I mean, doing it and teaching it is two different things. You know what I'm saying? So I had to teach myself how to teach. So I've been doing YouTube for about two years. And the videos I got now is a great improvement for the videos that I had before. So, you know, salute to everybody that... Um, that has been uh, around since then, since the beginning. Salute to the new people also. If you haven't already, if you this far into the video, you know, hit that comment button. Hit that subscribe button. Comment button. 
Hit the subscribe button with notification. Hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? Feel free to share on any of your social medias or word of mouth or text message with anybody you feel needs this information or whatever. Also, I'm using my phone. And I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But, like, I use my phone for everything. But I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Um, some of the people I might be subscribed to... Um, I did a lot of sub for sub when I first started my channel. So their notifications might be popping up on the screen. I don't know if it is or is it. So I'm giving shout outs to people indirectly. But shout out, hey, it's the same thing. Hey, shout outs to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Some people I rock with, some people I don't. Because, like I said, I did a lot of sub for sub and there's going to be a lot of phonies. But you're also going to find some people that rock with you and you rock with them. So salute definitely to them. You know what I'm saying? But the ones who don't rock with you, I was going to turn it to the side to see if it looked better that way. See oncoming traffic. Not in that lane, by the way. It just looks like that because the camera's pointed that way. I'm in my lane. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking at the camera at all. So I didn't know what these scenes look like. It points up. It points down. It swivels from left to right. You know what I'm saying? I might do another video um, about this, but I'm going to do it more in selfie mode where you can see me instead of seeing the road. Um, a lot of times I do this, though. A lot of times I point the camera towards the road instead of pointing it towards me because I would tend to look at the camera. You know what I'm saying? It's safer for me to point it towards the road than towards me, in my opinion. For me personally, that's not in my opinion. That's facts. You know? What's, what's the way you do things and the way I do things might be two different ways. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got to know your flaws. That's my whole thing. You got to know your flaws. I hate when cars be about to move before you even get there. You see how that car was turning and it was already moving? They be so anxious. That's why accidents always happen at intersections, man. It can be. I've seen it where two cars were at, at the intersection and, and, and a crash into each other. It don't even be heavy traffic half the time. But yeah, man, I'm going to show y'all different. I'm going to look this way, and I think I'm going to look that way to others. Also, want to give y'all, like, views of the city or whatever. This is in Easley. Um, you might see me a lot in Clemson, South Carolina, home of the Tigers. I'm not really a big sports fan, so I really don't, don't matter to me. Look that way. But uh, also, I'll be in Anderson, South Carolina, Clemson, Greenville, Easley. Those usually the places I be at. Sometimes you might see me in Seneca. You know what I'm saying? So I do videos everywhere. So, you know, it's always good to see a place that you're not from, whether it's impressive or not. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're from a different country or a different state. You know, it could be north, south, east, west, midwest. You know what I'm saying? But if you're from a different country, that's always great. I love watching videos from other countries. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people from other countries watch me too. Salute to India. You know what I'm saying? They be watching me a lot. You know what I'm saying? I got people in different parts of Asia, different parts of Africa, different parts of Mexico. Um, I don't have many people everywhere, but I got somebody everywhere. That's the beauty of doing YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're doing fitness. I always tell people that I don't know. And if you're listening, hey, man, I'm going to tell you again. Start a channel. You never know, man. At the end of the day, you never know. It's a journey. You know what I'm saying? It's not about the money. I'm not even getting paid. But it's a journey. Yeah, keyword. But, um, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's a journey, man. You're going to meet great people. I'm more cool with some of the people that I know from YouTube than I know in real life. You know what I'm saying? You know, people will support you. Um, even the, Even people that don't even make videos no more still watch me. You know what I'm saying? But people I grew up with in kindergarten won't watch me, but I ask for tips. Yo, how you lose weight, dog? Yo, I got a video about that. Matter of fact, I got hundreds of videos about that. I got a thousand videos on YouTube right now. Pick one. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Pick a topic. I got one. I, when it comes to fitness, that's what I do. Pick a topic. How to bench press. How to have good form on the deadlift. How to do this. How to do that. How to get stronger. How to lose weight. How to build muscle naturally i got videos about all that and i give you the real you know what i'm saying i'm just shouting myself out right here at the end of the day 
because I feel like I deserve it. Not to my own horn, even though it sounds like it. Um, the difference between a smaller fitness YouTuber, not just myself, um, there's plenty of them. They might be popping up on the screen too, some of them. But I don't know what y'all can see or what y'all can't see. But um, at the end of the day, the difference between us and a bigger YouTuber is, for example, they might have a video about, okay, how to get bigger biceps. But you click on the video, they might show you a few sets or a few this, a little bit of information, but the rest of the video be just flash, flash, flash. You know what I'm saying? But also, I think I passed this car right here. Watch what I do. I, I think I did this right here. You know what I'm saying? Um, I realized this car was going slower than me. What happened? I switched lanes. As soon as I realized that, I switched lanes. I didn't ride his butt. I switched lanes. Most people ride your butt, beat their horn. It's another lane. And it's just two lanes. A lot of times it'd be three or four lanes. I got back in the lane I wanted to be in. Like, come on, man. Like, that's not rocking science in my opinion, bro. I don't see how. I don't get it. Why? Or people that get on my nerves even more than that is people like, okay, you see two lanes right here. You see, I'm in my lane. Uh, I think I was going 65, 70, you know what I'm saying? And the lane next to me, they will match your speed and drive on the side of you for miles. You have to slow way down or speed way up to get away from me. And they be swerving into your lane. Like, why do you want to be that? These people, man, I'm telling you, man, why do you want to be that close to you, to me? People be sitting in your lap. People be thinking I be tripping when I talk about stuff like that in the gym. You know what I'm saying? By the way, I'm. By, have you ever um, been able to tell already I've been doing a voiceover? Um, I muted everything because I was playing copyrighted music, this and that and the third. You don't want that in your background. You know what I'm saying? If I drive a distance, I got to have some music, man. I don't know about everybody. But, yeah, man. I'm going to go ahead and shut up because I ain't got too much other stuff to say. There's still a good bit of the video. So, if y'all enjoy the driving, um, yeah, because I'm actually um, coming from Easley. I'm going to Clemson. Yeah, y'all can see Clemson a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, stay tuned and comment, like, subscribe, share. I'm going to go ahead and let it rock out. You know what I'm saying? Stay to the end of the video.